Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my FM21 save with Plymouth Argyle. Uh, in the last episode you'll remember that we beat Northampton Town in the last game 2-0 in League 1. Uh, leaving me to go and play 5 games behind screen. I got a little bit click happy I will admit. I'll go through more with that in the video. However in today's episode is a big one. It's the Battle of the Docks, Plymouth Argyle versus Portsmouth. Enjoy. Okay, and here we are in the schedule page. As I said, we last game we played was Northampton with a 2-0 home win for Argyle. We went to Lincoln City. We played well. They grabbed a last minute winner, 2-1. Uh, then we went to Wigan and Frank Nublay, who is just on fire at the minute, helped us win, 2-1. Then we beat Doncaster 3-0 with Frank Nublay getting two again and Jeff Cott coming up and scoring. Then we went away to Accrington Stanley and beat them 3-0. Nublay again, Ebby and Jeffers again. Then we went to Swindon, drew 2-2 with Nublay and Hardy. Finally, Hardy getting his first goal for the club this year. Then we went to Sully Mo or Sully Hole Moors in the FA Cup first round. And we got smashed at home. 3-1 loss. Now, the reason for this, I feel, is because before the game happened, I had the Luke McCormick come to me and he was upset he wasn't playing. I said, OK, I'll play you in cup games. I started him in the cup game and he was terrible. So we won't see him again. We'll probably sell him because he was horrendous. Then we went to Norwich or, or Norwich came to us, the under 23s in the Mickey Mouse Cup. And we smashed him 4-0 at home with Nublay getting a hat-trick and Ryan Hardy getting another goal. So all in all, I'm happy with the stretch of results there except for the FA Cup first round I was devastated with that but I will learn not to listen to players don't back down to players if they're not playing it's because they're not good enough to play now coming into the first game of today's video Battle of the Docks versus Portsmouth we've got a few players away on international duty with Panucci Camera uh, Jeffers is away with Wales so we've had to, we're starting Hardy. I bought in Darnell Mintus on a free transfer as a backup striker because I don't really like Telford. Don't tell him. And I've also brought in another young one who is this guy. Uh, his name is Ibrahim Bakari. And he's a young defender who... Has a potential, but isn't very good at the minute. But he's got a bit of pace. He's got good tackling. So I thought, let's bring him in and see as an option. Because I'm playing the same three so much, they are getting very tired. I started a couple of games with Sawyer. He's just passed it. He's, you know, his acceleration's five. He's 35 years old. He really is past it. Uh, so he's really cover for Sawyer. So yeah, let's uh, get into the first game and hopefully carry on as we go. So, teams are just warming up. There's the squad sheets. As I said before, Mike Cooper in goal, Scott Wooten, Tiden Mengai, Jerome Apugu, Joe Edwards, George Cooper, Connor Grant, Lewis McLeod, Lorenzo Ebby, as I call him, Ryan Hardy and Frank Nublay up front. Now, Frank Nublay won player of the month as well with his phenomenal form that he's on. Let's pump the fists and say it's a great opportunity. Motivate the players a little bit and let's get into the game. Uh, Joe Edwards has taken a knock. Uh, he's indicated that he wants to come off so we're gonna have to make a substitution in the first 15 20 minutes which i didn't really want to do 
Now in real life this game was shown on Sky, but oh, nobody's put it through to Hardy and Hardy's through and he's chipped it over the goalkeeper for his third goal of the season and we're 1-0 up in the Battle of the Docks. Fantastic. That was a lovely ball by Frank Nublay. Great block there by Abby. Nublay threads it straight through to Hardy and Hardy runs on and he just dinks it over the goalkeeper. 1-0. It's a great start. We're going to make that replacement finally 20 minutes in Clark's coming on for the injured Joe Edwards 28 minutes in not really a lot going on we've had possession our passes are pretty good looks like we've got a, oh no counter attack perhaps George Cooper Grant he punts it up to Nublay takes it on his chest lovely and he runs and he shoots and it's just wide but he is on some really good form at the minute I'm really impressed with him. I wasn't going to play him. It was going to be Hardy and Jeff cut up front all the time, but Hardy wasn't really shooting, scoring, sorry. And New Blaze just took off on this tactic. Oh, just couldn't get rid of it there. And it's 1 1. Now, Jordan or Jordi Hyrula? Jordi Hyrula. So, 1 1. Scrappy, it was scrappy defending. It could have been cleared, should have been cleared there off the post. He's one two it with the post and scored. And back to square just before half time. So, I mean, I'm not upset with the way that it's going. Uh, we can carry on going to where we're going, pump the fist, tell him to keep it up. We're still in this. Portsmouth have got the better XG. But I'm confident that we could come back and uh, hopefully snatch a result here. Now Cooper's messing around with it at the back here. Passes it to Apuku, who punts it down for Hardy. And Hardy gets it and passes it to Nubler. He's gone back to Grant. Grant's threaded it through to Hardy. Can Hardy get a cross away? Back to Connor Grant. And it's off the post. Ah, oh, see, we don't get one-twos with the post. Uh, we're going to get some subs on now. We're going to bring on off Lewis McLeod, who's tired. And Tiden Mengai and Bakari's coming on. Which I realise in a game like this is crazy to be playing a new player, but I've got no options. 66 minutes in. It's pretty even all across the board. Portsmouth are coming at us with an attack now. Curtis has a shot blocked. Curtis again back to... Oh, it's gone back to Curtis. And Mikey Cooper's there with a save. It looks like it's going to be a corner for Portsmouth. Williams with a corner. Headed away. Morris has picked it up. Morris has still got it. He's took a shot and Cooper saved it. Ooh, it's tense. It's pretty even all around the board. 50% possession each. Let's maybe... Praise? I'm going to praise him. I probably shouldn't have praised him until after this highlight. But it's headed away. And Pring's got it and he's passed it through to Curtis and he's going to lay it back and it's a good save again. It, uh, they're coming at us hard now. Um, there's no point going defensive. There's no point going attacking. We're just going to keep it positive. Williams now coming straight back at us, Portsmouth. Same highlight. Away by Grant. Garside just punts it up to, and nothing comes of it. And it's a, it's a ball through and it's, he's offside. It's offside. So coming into the last 10 minutes of this game, they've got the upper hand on possession, which we knew that was going to happen. They've been coming at us really hard. And I'm just hoping we can see this out for a 1-1 now. Four minutes of added time into the second minute of that. And it looks like, yep, full time, 1-1 in the Battle of the Docks. I'm not too disheartened by that. I'm happy with what I saw. Ebby always gets dem demotivated. No matter what I say, even if I tell him he's been great, he'll be demotivated. And I just can't work him out. He's a good player, but he needs to sort his attitude out. Okay, time for the second game against Fleetwood Town. Away to Fleetwood Town. We've had a couple of injuries in the build-up to this. Uh, Clark is out for up to eight weeks. Ben Reeves is out for up to 11 days. Ryan Edwards, I still... 
is injured as well as Ryan Law, which is a shame because I wanted to rest Cooper. But we have to go with what we've got. I'm going to bring you back in and I'm going to bring him back in because I don't think he got a chance to play last time. So we'll bring him on there and he will get a chance hopefully today if we can take a big enough lead. Let's get a midfielder on the bench. Sawyer can sit out. Okay, so submit that team there. Byron Moore, he's had to come in for Ryan Edwards, but he hasn't played a single game for us, so he is going to be um, not fit. Uh, let's pump fists and go out and finish where we left off, as I always do. Okay, so first 10 minutes through, no highlights as such yet. 51% possession for us. We've got a highlight coming up. Duffy threads it through when Mike Cooper picks it up. And hopefully we can get the attack away now. A Puku. McLeod. Ebby. He's found Cooper. Cooper's got the run. Can he find anyone? He's gone right through and he's took the shot. That was a bit of a silly shot, but he took the shot and it's just gone wide. 16 minutes in. Not really a lot to talk about. They've got a corner headed away. Ebby's picked it up. Can he find the runner, Jeffers? He can. Jeffers has passed it back. Back to Frank Newblay. And he's at the post as well. Crikey. He's on such a good form at the minute, Newblay. Cooper to Newblay. Back to Cooper. He finds Grant. And Grant's hit the crossbar. How many times are we going to hit the post today? I think he might have been off. No, he wasn't offside. It was just a goal kick. So 35 minutes played and still nothing really happening. We're moving down the table at the minute. Uh, maybe get a bit of demand more on the go. 46. Uh, half time. We haven't been playing that bad. But let's keep it up so far. Get everyone motivated for the second half. Free kick for Fleetwood. Swung in. Cooper saves it. Can we get anything off the attack here? He's normally good at picking out the long passes. He's punted it right through to Frank Nublet. And he's shot right at the keeper. It's unfortunate. Corner for us. Looks like it's going to be Cooper on the corner. Here, try and find Nublet. Wasn't in the right place. Ebby picks it up and just... I don't know what he did there. He just kicked it out. Yeah, it was terrible. Goal kick for Fleetwood Town. Uh, demand more. Ebby just doesn't like any sort of... I, I might have to get rid of this guy because he just seems to just moan all the time. You, you you try and get him to do a bit more and he ain't having none of it. Don't like any of it. Right, let's bring on them two and hopefully find a goal. 60 minutes in. Possession wise, they've been all over us. I might go attacking. I don't know if I should. It's not really a game we've got to win. But I'd like to sort of think we can win it. I'm going to go attacking. Let's go. Let's try to bring on another sub here. Oh. We'll do. Oh, we'll keep it like that. Let's go. 85 minutes in. We are attacking to finish the game off. Doesn't look like anything's going to happen. It's been a pretty poor last game for this video. Full time, nil nil. We'll take a point, but I would have preferred more. Um, yeah, well done for not getting defeated, apparently. That is um, a thing. So. Minutus, Mintus made his debut. Yeah, well done. So let's look at the schedule. I'm going to go away and probably play oh, probably all the way to Bristol Rovers now. And when we come back, we'll have Bristol Rovers versus Crew Alexander and hopefully should get us after that video we should find ourselves in the January transfer window, which will be exciting, hopefully for us. Try and get some players in. 
try and build a team around certain players but we'll go more into that in the next video so thank you for watching if you've enjoyed today's video hit the like button subscribe the little bell notification just to get notified when i bring out new videos and yeah enjoy thanks